Good evening, this is the Owen James Report. Amidst heavy demand for foreign exchange, both the benchmark American dollar and the Canadian dollar strengthened against the Jamaican currency today. Now, the greenback gained 12 Jamaican cents, settling at an average selling rate of $128.44, while its Canadian counterpart strengthened by a dollar and 23 cents Jamaican at a record high average selling rate of $104.37 Jamaican. Sterling weakened by a dollar and sixteen cents Jamaican to close at an average selling rate of one hundred and sixty six dollars and sixty six cents. Gains by highly capitalized entities such as Caribbean Cement, Cable and Wireless Jamaica, NCB Financial Group, and Scotia Group helped to trigger advances in the Jamaican stock market indices today. The main JC index advanced by over 1,700 points or 7 tenths of 1%. Now, trading picked up somewhat today with 6.5 million shares worth $67 million changing hands. Juno Market Entities, Lasco Manufacturing, and Caribbean Flavors dominated trading. 46 stocks traded with 22 advancing, 15 declining, and 9 holding firm. The winners included 1834 Investments, Caribbean Cement, Cable and Wireless Jamaica, newly listed Express Catering, Grace Kennedy, Lasco Manufacturing, NCB Financial Group, Scotia Group, and Sagicor Group Jamaica. The losers included General Accident, Jamaica Stock Exchange, Kingston Wharves, Lasco Financial Services, Supreme Ventures, and Sagicor's Real Estate Ex Fund. The Sagicor Bank Jamaica is selling a block of mortgages to Victoria Mutual Building Society on an agreement for sale. In a statement this week, Sagicor Bank said the transaction would not affect the terms of the existing mortgage arrangements with clients and sought to assure clients that the transaction wasn't unusual and that Sagicor Bank remains an active lender in the real estate market. Now finally, in our business intelligence feature, here's a legitimate $5,000 bill. Now unscrupulous individuals are proffering fake $5,000 bills in cash transactions at businesses which handle volumes of cash. Now typically, the scammers often purchase goods or services for about $1,000 or less. Small businesses in particular have to learn to recognize these fake $5,000 bills and protect their businesses and legitimate customers. Your friendly banker can assist you in recognizing these fake $5,000 bills. It's better to be safe than sorry. That's the Owen James Support. Good evening.